what was the clubhouse like in 03, 04? Was this, was it as, I guess, like wild and fratty as well, it's described? Yeah, well, definitely brought a lot of the Oakland characteristics uh, with me to Boston. and So it was you. Um, yeah, the first year was uh, – it was me every day. That was before Millar got there. I mean, fortunately, we had Ricky Henderson, Carlos Bayerga. Um, these guys had a great time always, but trying to get the guys up because there were still uh, thoughts of we're never going to win, kind of um, we're cursed. And it's, I don't like to think that way. I mean, we 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 had no control over what happened years before and all those tough losses. And I saw Daryl Strawberry the other day, and I thanked him for winning with the Mets in 86 to make my World Series uh, more important <laughs> in Red Sox Nation. So, and it happened to – I wore number 18 because of Daryl Strawberry, and 18 years after the Mets won, um, we won our championship. So I was um, very happy. It happened to be 86 years, the, the 1986 Mets. So I, I don't know. I, I like numbers. Oh well, I uh, I asked you. I don't know if you remember this when you because we used to work out at, at you know around here together when he signed with Boston. Yeah, you used to work out. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I said to him, I said, well, why? This is after obviously after Oakland. I said, why? Why Boston? Like they're ne you're never going to win there. And then, Did you say that to him? Yeah, I'm like, why Boston? Yeah. You're never going to win because honest, they honestly, had never that's won. What's his best character. And I said, Johnny, I said, yeah. and he's like, well, they gave me the most money, won, and I think we can win. And I said, well, they've never haven't won, and at the time it was like 85 years. I'm like, you really think you go? And then three years later, no four, they they went out and did it, and I mean, yeah, legendary. Obviously, down 3-0 to the Yankees, come back. I, that's what I want to know about is you're down 3-0. Were you doing naked pull-ups and? Yeah. In the clubhouse? I, I still do them, you know. Well, uh, Michelle, I'm so sorry, Michelle, if you're out there listening. Well, um, well what came about the naked pull-ups is we had one of the smallest training rooms. Oh, yeah. um, and so we had a tub, we had two tables, and we had our weights um, in the same area about this size. So I would get in the tub and waiting. I have wet shorts on and waiting to get on the table to get taken care of. I uh, – wanted to take my shorts off and try to get guys out of the clubhouse. So if they saw my butt and my other stuff, they would, <laughs> they would get out quicker than uh, normal. So it worked out. Be better thing. Giambi's thong, the golden thong. Oh yeah. Or you were doing naked pull-ups. Oh boy. I got a number of hits with that golden thong. So, uh, you did. Um, oh yeah. I, I needed it a few times, you know, if, so would you wear it under your uniform um, or you just wearing a BP or where? No, you, wear you would wear it during the game. Oh, yeah. Who's a gamer? Yeah. So, I mean, if you need hits, you do whatever it takes. True. People don't understand that. Is that thing in the Hall of Fame or something? It should be. It yeah. should be, right? Does he still yeah. have it, you think? You know, I'm sure he does. Yeah. It's <laughs> it like would be worth something. Hunt and see if we can find it. Get Giambi on your NASCO. If he's yeah, the... we can. So, give me what, what's the craziest story you remember from that time period that, especially back then, might not have been like, I'm going to share this with the media, but we're pretty far removed from it. Well, you know, it's Kevin Millar who shared everything with the media. So I always look at the clubhouse like what happens here stays here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, after we were down 3-0 to the Yankees, uh, we had a um, rain out. So it's a good thing we could line up our pitching a little bit better. But beating the Yankees four straight games it was going to be a tough task. And I'm not sure how many times they lost four games in a row that year. But uh, we all didn't want to be done and start taking our kids to school. We wanted to prolong this uh, this playoff. And, uh, you know, we started drinking or taking shots of Jack Daniels before the game. We had nothing to lose. And uh, then we went on and won eight straight. <laughs> Did a shot before every game. So, uh, we like had, a toast with the whole team, yeah, or yeah, 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 toasted with the whole team. Mm -hmm. And does that help? everybody did it? Yeah, almost got Francona fired after the <laughs> season, but uh, um, yeah, so um, Kevin started letting the media know that, and Francona almost lost his job. He was no. like, he's, he's like, Kevin, you can't tell people what, what we're doing in the clubhouse, so. Um, fortunately, Tito stayed, won another championship with him. So uh, um, I was fortunate to play with a lot of great 
managers for he sure. Was, he was, There's no way he was going to get fired well, after you guys won. So if we, if you guys would have lost, then maybe there would have. Because then in eleven, remember the chicken and beer. Yeah. The whole thing. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Where they blew, and then he ended up leaving and going to Cleveland. But there's no way you guys well, just won the World Series. And you're adults. I mean, yeah, well, that it's doesn't not matter. A, it doesn't it, matter. Well, is it, there a rule that says you can't take a shot in the clubhouse no, or something? No, unwritten rule. Unwritten rule. Okay, yeah. but it's not a real rule. But in 03, if we would have beat the Yankees and go to the World Series, Grady Little was still going to get fired. And Grady is like the best that I've ever been around. He's just an incredible manager, but he was going to get fired Why? regardless. Even um, if you won the even World if you Series? Won the World yeah, Series. yeah. No freaking yeah, way. Be- because of how he looked at the, uh, the charts, he really – it's like, okay, get a lefty up in this situation. Grady is a great baseball man. He he did need to read scouting reports. He liked to read the player's heart and the way we went about our game. So he would dump those in the trash um, whenever uh, he felt necessary. So the, you're telling me that if you guys win in 03, if Aaron Boone doesn't hit the home run, you guys beat the Marlins. Good chance. Gosh. Yeah, good chance. Can you imagine there would have been a revolt? Well. Maybe another bo- a revolution if uh, – yeah, but the media knows how to yeah, spin things as well. 